Joshua 1, verse 9. And let me read this real quick. It says, have, not, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That last line like, just jumps out at me because uh, I don't think we realize that God is with us wherever we go. Like, that gets real. Even like, <laughs> if you decide to not go the path that he chose for you, mm -hmm. he's still with you. You know? Just like with Jonah, right? Jonah was like going on, he was trying to run away from God. Right. And God's like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of right here, I'm just so you, you know. Yeah. It's just, we're cool with this. Mm -hmm. So I think that when we realize that in our own lives, like God is with us right now in all situations, now we know that we don't have to be uh, scared. We don't have to be terrified. And we can be strong and courageous because we have the God who created every single thing right next to us being like, hey, I got your back. Right. And if you stray, I will gently bring you back or I might have to, you know, bring Force, you back. Forcefully. forcefully. Yeah, right. sometimes that has to happen. But that encourages me. I think that goes along well with our workout for the day, which is going to be a lot more strength-based. Okay. Yeah, That's building awesome. some strength. So, you ready for that? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so workout two here. Now we have our exercise. Our first one is going to be bicycle crunch variations. Level one over here, you're just focusing on the crunch, keeping your feet in that tabletop position, not straining the neck, supporting it with your hands, and letting the chest come up. Level two, or option two over here, he's just kicking out, kicking in, keeping that crunch held, and coming in and out like that, almost like a dead butt variation. And then option three over here, you're going into a full bicycle crunch, but you're kicking nice and long. So I'm coming here, I really reach, and then I come to the other side, and I'm resting my neck into my hands here. And I'm going 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, exercise two, we have our side plank variation. So our first level is going to be over here, knees bent, lifting up. Feel that core work on the side, and also maybe a little bit of the glute. Now, Level two over here, straight legs, stacked on top, hands up to the sky, she's bracing strong. Option three over here, I'm making sure that I have my good position and I reach under, I reach over, making sure the hips don't rotate out of position. This is 30 seconds to a minute on each side now. So the reason we're doing this next exercise is so that we balance the core. We hit the front of the core, and then we hit the side of the core. Now we have to hit the back, which no one usually likes to hit. So the crab position, level one, you're just making sure you have good posture here. Your neck's not shrugged up into your ears, and that you can control your shoulders. The next one is going into a bridge up and down. Yeah, you can march. So level one, you have the option of marching here. Level two, though, the hips are driving up and down, you're stretching the shoulders and getting as high as you can get. Level three, now you're adding in that march, but you're, you're going to have one leg going up and down, and you're going to be hitting that 15 seconds or 30 seconds on one side, and then 15 to 30 on the other side to get a full balance on each side. It's all right, it's all right, it's what it's meant to do. Okay. Um, but again, remember that we need to worship while we're moving, so always keep that in mind. Right, why we the why. The why, right. exactly. The all why. right. So good job today, and I'll see you guys next time.